Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I am working with three photos from our trip to Peru. Um, this was when we stayed with a host family on the island of Amantani. Um, it was absolutely spectacular and um, definitely like the most adventurous thing um, I have done. So these are just uh, photos of the outside of the home where we stayed. Um, it was definitely different from anything, you know, we've ever experienced before, but I think that's what made it, like, so awesome. Um, it was a nice little house with, uh, you know, two stories, and um, we stayed on the second floor in a little guest room. There was an area outside, like a little courtyard. They had chickens, and um, it, was, it was just really cool. Um, so I definitely want to remember this time and scrap these photos for my Peru album. Um, so, as you can see, I've picked out some paper already. This uh, pattern paper is from Amy Tangerine's Brave and Bold collection. I found that I really love a ton of paper from that collection. Um, and it just kind of fits me, fits my style. Um, so, I, you know, I'm using it. Um, and I have this... It's like an 8x8 square of green. I think it matches. I think it was, you know, a leftover from another, you know, Brave and Bold um, kind of collection um, layout that I did before. Uh, so I use that just to break up all the pattern. You know, it's really pretty. I love it, but it is a lot. And I want to make sure that you can still see my photos. So I ink up the edges of that and... Um, I actually use my Jelly Roll glitter pen to do just a little subtle border around it. Um, this is clear glitter, so it's just, you know, if it hits it in the right light, you can see it. Um, and I am definitely someone who loves sparkle and shine, so, you know, I've got to put that on there. I get that set up there in about the middle. It's a little off-center, but, you know, I want that. And you can see um, I didn't let my ink dry completely, and I get it everywhere, but... You know, it works out. It's okay. I cover up a lot of it, and what I don't cover up you don't really notice because there's so much else going on. Um, and it works for me. Now, some people I know that would really bother, in which case, just, you know, take the time and let your ink dry. I am impatient, so I did not do that. Now, my photos are matted on just some uh, coordinations cardstock. I believe the color is Dress Blues. Um, and I also do the little sparkly border around those. Um, and I kind of cluster them together. I wanted to make sure that when they overlap, they don't cover up any, like, main subject or, you know, anything that I really want to see in the photo. Um, so they're not clustered very tightly, but that's okay. Now, another thing that I love about this Brave and Bold collection is this page that I just cut from. So it has a cut-apart sheet, which is pretty typical, but these are like journaling boxes and little embellishments. Like, it's almost like an ephemera pack that isn't, you know, cut out for you. It's like little journaling bits. Absolutely love this. This is, you know, totally my jam, and I've used it quite a bit. So I cut out another little journaling box, and I just write a little bit about the home we stayed in and how, like I said, it's very different from anything we um, are used to. But it was just so nice and um, very beautiful area. I mean, if I don't know how well you can see the photos, but it's right in the middle of the lake. There are mountains. I mean, it's bright and sunny. It was absolutely spectacular. Um, you know, you don't need your big gaudy houses or hotels or anything that maybe we're used to. Um, this, this was perfect. So I do mount that just partially because I didn't want to cut into another piece of paper. I recognize that that might be lazy and you might hate it and that's okay. Um, but I kind of like the, um, kind of unusual look that it gives my journaling box. I think it makes it stand out more. Now, I use the branding strip. It, you know, kind of almost looks like a piece of washi um, on one side. And it's just like a solid, you know, blue teal color. It just kind of breaks things up and kind of gives all my photos. It kind of sits, you know, it's like a little shelf, um, which works out nicely, I think. 
And I've added that little sticker. That's from the uh, roll of stickers. If you have the Brave and Bold collection, it's like seriously like 15 feet long worth of stickers. Um, so I've got a lot of them to use. So I was trying to use them. And just to add a little something else with um, that. But I'll add more to it and it looks more like a, a cluster. Now, I struggle hardcore with the title. And really, I don't know that I end up with much of a title. Um, as I said in my previous video, I am really getting to the point where I really need to buy new thickers or alphabet stickers or or something because um, I'm running out of letters and I can't spell the things I want to spell and um, but as I'm sure you all know as well as I um, they're not the cheapest you know supply and I was determined to not buy more craft supplies over the summer um, and I've actually stuck to that I've been using my stash so you know as I sit there trying to figure out what my title is I ultimately decide you know what I, I don't need like a regular conventional title. I'm going to work on embellishment. Now, what I have here is a cute little world sticker, a globe sticker. Um, I think it came from an Amy Tangerine something or other, but honestly, I've had it forever. Um, and I really just rediscovered it while I was digging through my other stickers. And I thought, how appropriate. This is definitely a um, kind of global love um, kind of thing because it's a totally new part of you know, the world for us, and it was fantastic. So I do that, and I get out my ephemera box that's kind of just general, everyday kind of stuff. It has um, some of Amy Tangerine's Picnic in the Park, some of the ephemera from uh, Paige Evans' collections uh, for explosion boxes at Michael's, and then quite a bit of other, you know, random stuff. So that's where the yay um, little boxes, at first, you know, it kind of hurt my heart because I wanted to use that for like a journaling box. I love journaling boxes, I guess, for whatever reason, but I think it, it kind of worked out where I put it. So I'm happy I used it. You know, I'm a huge advocate of using your stuff. There will always be more stuff. And if you're like me, you can scrap a long time before you get anywhere near um, running out of stuff. And now I also add my hello in this little banner that says wander. Um, the hello, I'm kind of like, I, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I like how it looks there. And so you could say, you know, yay, hello, wander. You could call that a title if you want. Um, but it's really just like words that kind of go with um, my theme. At least that's how I was feeling. And if you don't think that makes any sense at all, that's totally fine with me. I like it. I like how it looks, so I'm, I'm keeping it. I like it. Um, and I'm just adding a few more little bits to try to finish up my layout. I do have these little tabs. I think they're my mind's eye. Again, these are, you know, things that I've collected over time. Um, I like to add little pop dots on the uh, short part and then uh, regular flat adhesive on the bottom. I think that uh, gives it a nice texture effect. Um, but... As I'm finishing up making little clusters, I really only have two clusters, down by the journaling box and up by the title, um, which at first I was like, no, I need three, I really need three, but there was a lot going on on this layout, and I am just decided to add little splatty bits um, to finish it off. I used the Heidi Swap Color Shine in uh, Sweet Mint, and a Dilutions ink in Vibrant Turquoise, um, which I think go nicely with this collection. But that will finish up my layout here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.